Hi, welcome to Enchiridion. I'm very excited to share with you these facts on Scaphagnathus. Scaphagnathus was a pterosaur that lived around Germany. During the late Jurassic, it had a wingspan of 3 feet or 0.9 meters. Mainly due to its robust snout construction, Scaphagnathus acquired the unglamorous name of Tubjaw. Nonetheless, when first described, Scaphagnathus was included into the Pterodactyloidea due to the lack of a tail. In fact, the missing tail confused the original examiner, which in reality didn't fossilize with the rest of the specimen. A second individual specimen of Scaphagnathus had the tail preserved, and this discovery led to the revelation that Scaphagnathus instead belonged with the basal ramphorhynchoid pterosaurs. Its skull is the key element that makes it identifiable, and across the top of the skull is a bony growth. Despite the fact that so far no crest has been found with any of the specimens, this bone may have been the support for a head crest in life. This doesn't necessarily mean that there was no crest in life, as had there been one it would probably have been made up from soft tissue like keratin, which typically does not preserve well, if at all. Apart from a few differences in the skull, Scaphagnathus was morphologically similar to Ramphorhynchus and Harpophagnathus, particularly with a potential crest similarity to Harpophagnathus. Scaphagnathus is known from three specimens, all of which can be traced to the Kimmeridgen Age Solenhofen limestone. Physically, it was very similar to Ramphorhynchus, albeit with a few notable cranial differences. For one, Scaphagnathus had a proportionally shorter skull that was 4.5 inches or 11.4 centimeters long, with a blunter tip and a larger anorbital fenestra. The teeth of Scaphagnathus are ringed vertically and widely spaced. The traditional count of them held that 18 teeth were in the upper jaws and 10 in the lower. Ask Christopher Bennett. Studying a new third specimen, SMNS 59395, in 2004 determined there were only 16 teeth in the upper jaws, the higher previous number having been caused by incorrectly adding replacement teeth. Scaphagnathus would easily have lived as an insectivore, yet other prey items aren't discarded either. Comparisons between the scleral rings of Scaphagnathus and modern birds and reptiles suggest that it may have been diurnal. This may also suggest niche partitioning with contemporary pterosaurs in to be nocturnal, like Ramphorhynchus and Stanoschasma. The first known Scaphagnathus specimen was described in 1831 by August Goldfuss, who, as we mentioned earlier, mistook the tail of specimen for a new Pterodactylus species, Pterodactylus crassirostris. This specimen was an incomplete adult, with a 3 foot or 8.9 meter long wingspan, recovered from the Solnhofen strata near Itzla, Germany. In 1858, Johann Wagner referred the species to Ramphorhynchus. After distinguishing the specimen due to the different snout shape, Wagner, after prior failed attempts by Christoph Gottfried Andreas Jeibel and Leopold Fitzinger, who used preoccupied names, in 1861 named a distinct genus, Scaphagnathus. Scaphagnathus means tub jaw. It is derived from Greek scaph, meaning boat or tub, and nathos, meaning jaw in reference to the blunt shape of the lower jaws. In the early 20th century, the ramphorhynchoid nature of Scaphagnathus crassirostris was recognized following the discovery of the second specimen in Molheim, whose long tail was preserved. The second Scaphagnathus specimen was more complete than its predecessor, but only half the size, with a 20-inch wingspan, or almost 2 feet or 50 centimeters long. It also had partially ossified bones. These characters suggest that the second specimen was a juvenile. It was named by Johann Wagner in 1861. Scaphagnathus belongs to the kingdom Animalia, the phylum Cardata, the order Pterosauria, the family Ramphorhynchidae, the subfamily Scaphagnathidae, and the genus Scaphagnathus. The cladogram or family tree of Ramphorhynchids below is the result of a huge phylogenetic analysis published by Andrus and Myers in 2013. Synonyms are numerous and they are listed here. Species include the type Scaphagnathus crassirostris. The specific name means fast now in Latin. It was probably an insectivore. It had an almost 3 foot long or 35 inch or 90 centimeter wingspan. It was discovered in the Solenhofen limestone in Germany. 
It lived during the Kim origin of the late Jurassic, 150.8 to 145.5 million years ago. And fossil representation includes three specimens. And with that, thank you for watching! I'm currently making a human rights film for a video contest, so I'll be releasing a lot more shorts than usual. Sarkazuka's video is in the works. As always, this is Ankyridian, see you next time.